Hi Taurus, we made it to the weekend. It's Saturday today, August 31st, 2024. Um, Stacy got us a new deck of Oracle cards and they are beautiful. Thank you, Stacy. I just got these in the mail. Um, let's see what message Spirits has for you guys today. What does Taurus need to know, Spirits? Okay. All right. Uh, you're getting this card. It says, go with the flow and let things happen. Go with the flow and let things happen. That is the message. All right. So let's look at your tarot cards and see... What shows up here in your tarot cards today, Taurus? And today is whenever you're watching this reading. And um, this energy can be reversed if you're cross-watching. I'm reading the energy here. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know right now at the time they're viewing this reading? What does Taurus need to know? All right, the first card you have is the Seven of Cups. And then you have the King of Earth. I'm seeing you here with the Seven of Cups. You're looking for options. You're looking for um, a way out, I feel like. Some type of security. Um could be a new job or something to bring you security here with the King of Pentacles. The next card you have is Strength. This is Leo energy. And then you have the Three of Earth. Fortune's Wheel in the center of your reading. And then you have the Ace of Fire. So, wow, Taurus, something here is turning in your favor. The Wheel of Fortune is in the center of your reading, and the next card you have is the Ace of Fire. So, there's something here that you're struggling with right now, but this is getting ready to change. And then, coming into the future, you have Temptation. Expect to receive a message. The page of water is here. And then you have the six of fire. On the bottom of the deck you have love. And you have the page of earth. Hmm. Your challenge today is the Eight of Fire. Expect to, to receive messages, okay? Messages, incoming messages, Taurus. So let's clarify this and see what's going on. Actually, I want to use this deck. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Yeah, you're looking at options, choices. Um, confusion is here with the Seven of Cups. You have the Ace of Cups here. This has to do with love. And then you have the Queen of Wands. And the Five of Wands.
Taurus, you have new love coming into your life. All right, the five of wands is here. This is changing things with the five of wands. Queen of wands is here, which is you looking at this ace of cups. There, this could be an online type of energy here or some type of communication messages coming in, um, choices. But you have someone new coming into your life. Tell me why the king of pentacles is here. Yeah, see so you have the lovers, Gemini energy, a choice between two. Ooh. Two of swords and the hanged man. You're looking at your stability here when it comes to this choice. I want to figure something out over here because it looks like you guys are going to be like you have two, two loves. All right. Someone new, someone that's already here with you. You have the seven of cups and you have the four of pentacles. So this new is the seven of cups which is what we see over here i would be careful with this new energy you guys let me see what this is tell me why the queen of wands is here You feel like some, I don't know if this is love, but there's something here in your life where you are surrounded by the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords. I am sick and tired of it. I don't want to do it anymore. This is over. I'm done. And there's something new coming into your life, just as you're saying this. All right? Except for with strength showing up here. This this energy, it doesn't have to be love, but I see you say, saying to yourself, I've got to be strong. I, I am looking at my stability here. So you may be thinking about changing jobs. The new thing that's coming into your life I see conversations happening here with the Page of Cups and the Page of Swords. Conversations coming in and a tower moment. Like, this is over. This is done. All right? And it's... I don't know. It's like both things exploding at once. Tell me, tell me why the tower is here. It's like two different plans hitting the ground, an explosion, lightning, striking. <coughs> there you are, Taurus the Empress, and then you have the Wheel of Fortune. Something's going to change here. All right. And it's neither of these things that, you know, that your options are, that your choices are in this energy. It's something else. There's some type of a change here with the three of earth that is getting ready to take place. The wheel of fortune is here. And even if I told you, even if the tarot could tell you exactly what this is, it's not something that you're expecting. It's something unexpected. 
as you're looking at your choices at your options here as we start off the reading there's two different energies that are out out the door tell me why the three of pentacles is here You have the Five of Cups. The Six of Swords. And Death, Scorpio energy. Yeah, see, you're, you're either juggling two different things or trying to make a decision between two different things. Which one do I drop? Which one do I keep? But you don't keep either one. That's the thing here. It's what's changing here is both of these options that you're looking at. There's one that's making you feel like this sadness. There's another energy here where I'm going, I'm going over there, I'm gonna go do something new. And they're both coming to an end. Neither one of them are going to happen. So spirits, tell me what is going to happen. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Oh, look at this. The three... The Three of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Sun. The Sun is Leo energy. Everything's turning in your favor here, Taurus. You guys are so, so lucky. I never see energy like this except for, for you guys. The Sun, the Ten of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. And the Wheel of Fortune. Everything turning in your favor, but turning in your favor in a different way than what you than what you had planned. The other plans are are over out the door here. There's something new coming in that's going to make you very, very, very happy. Let me see if I can get a little bit more specific. It's not plan A or plan B. It's C that you didn't even plan on. Tell me why the three of pentacles is here. You have the two of cups here. You're going to be connecting with someone here that you didn't plan on connecting with. Tell me why the two of cups is here. The Nine of Wands. How is that? This is the Two of Wands. I thought it was the Two of Cups, but apparently I predicted quite well because the Two of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. And the Two of Wands usually shows one person. This has two people on it. There's someone here... Um, and you're hugging each other. It's uh, it's like, I miss you. I missed you. Let's, let's plan this together. All right. So I don't know if this is a new love or who this person is, but there's, there's someone here that is showing up. Tell me who this is. The Emperor Aries energy. Okay, you're not even expecting this. This person's holding back. This person's thinking about you a lot, but they're holding back. 
they're staying under the energy of the moon because they, um, I feel like whoever this person is, this is like, like forbidden love, okay? This is like Adam, Eve giving Adam the apple. This is forbidden love. Someone who walked away sad in the past because it was forbidden love. It was forbidden for the two of you to come together. And someone that didn't even come into mind through all of this, but here they are, here they stand right, right by your side. The next card you have is the Ace of Fire. This is a lot of passion. Tell me why the Ace of Fire is here. The Nine of Swords. Strength and the High Priestess, Pisces Energy. Yeah, there's, there's like this secret that you've held that you've kept to yourself. The High Priestess is here. Strength is here. You kept this to yourself. Like your feelings, you've kept them inside. You've tried to fight against this feeling. This temptation. Tell me why temptation is here. This is some type of reunion. Tell me why temptation is here. The moon, sheer energy, Pisces. Oops. I see a knight in shining armor rushing in. In this reading, it feels like a fairy tale to me. But that's what I see is a knight in shining armor rushing in. Um, look at this knight, the knight of wands. And it's, it's like this person is running up to you here um, as you're stuck in your mind. And they make you feel like on top of the world, whoever this person is, whatever this energy is. It's like this is someone that makes you feel like on top of the world. This is someone praising you. Like I I don't I see someone here praising you. The way this person looks at you, just the way they look at you, it feels like they're praising you. But it feels like some type of temptation, something that needs to be hidden. The next card you have is the Page of Water. So this is a plan. Justice, Libra energy. You and someone else here coming together, Taurus. Tell me why the Page of Water is here. The Ace of Swords. You've manifested this. Either in the past, long ago. You've manifested this though. And it's coming in right now to your reality. You have the Ace of Swords here. Something that you've manifested. A conversation taking place. Truth. And then you have the Six of Fire. Why is the Six of Fire here?
This is a wish fulfillment that you wished for something of long, long ago. Something that you wished for, Taurus. It was to be with this energy, to align with this energy, you're being recognized. It's like you're being floated away here. And you felt like it was a it was a fight you couldn't win. And so you just walked away. You didn't even try. And here it comes. Judgment is bringing it back up again. And this is time now with justice. It's time now <coughs> for you to come together with this energy. Something that was meant to be, but the timing was off. This is love. And it's like someone here waiting for you. I'm, I'm right here. See? And the phone's ringing. I'm right here. There's a messenger here. Tell me why love is here. I don't feel like this is an ex, but this is someone that you know. This is a past energy showing up here. And a messenger with the page of pentacles. And then you have the world. And the king of wands, the ace of wands. This may be someone here that is at a distance from you. They could be a different nationality than you for some of you guys. But there's a cycle closing out. There's something ending. Okay. And it's ending with this King of Wands energy. But you have an Ace of Wands here. And you got the Two of Wands. So there's, there's this brand new beginning here with someone else. And it, this is not who you think well who you think right now it could be but who you thought up there no it's not okay so you have here you have love and it's like as if There's, there's two people walking away here. There's a third one here that you're giving to. The Four of Swords is here. And you have the Queen of Cups. This person, it's almost like they give you this healing energy with the Four of Swords in your heart. Your heart space. It's, it feels really good. It's like something here is heartbreak. It's a struggle. But this energy that's coming in, it relieves this heartbreak, this pain. And someone here is waiting for you. Tell me why. See, they're waiting for you to show up. You the hermit? The one in hermit energy, hermit mode, carrying the lantern, trying to find your way. This is Virgo energy. Trying to find your way home where you're supposed to be. And here we have the messages coming in. Messages, travel coming in. All right, Taurus, thank you for being here with me. Thank you guys for taking the time to like and subscribe. And thank you, Stacy, for the beautiful cards. And
spirits are telling you to go with the flow and to let things happen right now. Things are happening for a reason. Do not try to resist the flow. All right. And um, please remember to put the time in the comment section. I love you guys to pieces. I love you guys to the moon and back. And we'll meet back here again tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste.